What's up, fellas? Look up. I just got back from Gen Con. Um, had a really good time. Spent a shit ton of money. Um, just going to give a quick overview of the games I got. I got a copy of King of Tokyo. It's a fun game. My brother has it. We play it. I figured I'd get a copy to play here at my house. Uh, got a copy of New World, an old um, Avalon Hill Game Company game. Uh, bought it used, I think, for twenty twenty-two dollars. Um, the counters are uh, punched, not clipped, and they're all in one big giant bag together. That's great. Um, oh, here's the Gen Con book. There's some extra baggies. There's the Gen Con badge. Oh, got some extra dice while I was there, only because I got a coupon to get like 30% off or something, so I got some dice. And then I got this this really cool six-sided dice that, uh, well, it's really 12-sided, but it's one to six twice on there. So, I like that. And then I went ahead for uh, $21, went ahead and got me some plastic uh, Star Wars uh, X-Wing miniature movement templates. I went ahead and picked those up. Uh, you know, there's the inside of that. It came with paper money. I don't know about that. But yeah, I got New World. Um, I also picked up a copy of Warfighter by uh, DVG. And uh, I'm going to check it out. I thought it was a solo game, but it's not. It's like a. Let's see. Shit, I've seen it on here somewhere. Two to, it's two to some many players. But anyway, I thought it was a single player game, but it's not. It's it's a multi, multi, multiplayer. So so I got a copy of this, Warfighter. Not really a huge fan of Dan Burson games, but I mean, for the price I got this for, I mean, I, you know, I could pass it up. Now, I got a copy of France 1940. An Avalon Hill bookcase game. Uh, again, this was obviously used. Uh, counters were punched, but uh, not clipped. And uh, the maps are hard mounted. Uh, I got this for nine dollars. Couldn't pass that up. Uh, got me a copy of GMT's uh, U.S. Civil War. Again, I got it for a good price because the uh, where's it at here? The box because of that. None of the components inside were hurt at all. Got a great price on it. Couldn't pass it up. Also got me a copy of uh, Next War Taiwan. Uh, I got Next War India Pakistan. I really wanted to check out the naval rules, so I got this one. And I got a copy of Old School Tactical. Uh, the first day we got there, uh, what was it, Th Thursday at about 10, 30, 11 o'clock, we were walking through the, the, the vendor hall and uh, I saw one copy of this game and I immediately went and got it and never saw another copy of this game the whole time I was there but I had to go ahead and pick me up a, a copy of Old School Tactical had to had to be done and then I got me a <clears throat> Star Wars X-Wing uh, what you call it mat play mat and uh, it's just, I'm not going to pull it out of the box. You guys know what play mats look like. It's just a star field. No, it's not a star field. It's got some kind of design on it. Uh, it's real pretty, but I got that as well. And uh, so that was it. That was my haul from Gen Con. Um, my brother, who is uh, not married and has no children and makes more money than me, probably spent about two to three times the amount of money I spent. And I spent about $500. So, I don't know. Well, I mean, I spent some money on food. Yeah, I'll pay for gas. And, well, on games, I probably only spent maybe 400 to $450 maybe on games. And uh, he, he, his whole trunk was loaded, man. He got a bunch of good games. But, uh. Oh, he got one game by uh, Restoration Games. It was called uh, Downforce, I think was the name of it. It was a race car game. And uh, you play cars and you move and you have to bid and bet and play and move cars around this track. And it, it was a lot of fun. 
a whole lot of fun. Um, we were going to try to get a copy of Clank in space, but uh, they were sold out the first day we were there, and then we showed up as soon as the vendor hall opened. We were there at 8.30 in the morning or 9.30. What, I think the vendor hall opened up at like 10 or 9, and we were there like a half hour early waiting in line. We're really close to the front when the doors open, but by the time we made it back to where Clank was being sold, the line was already already ridiculous. So we were like, well, piss on it. And uh, But yeah, that's my haul from Gen Con. I had a great time. Um, I can't wait to go again next year already.